And today we are going to be doing a super basic tutorial on um, bullets. It's going to be super fast, going to be super easy. Bullets are always confusing to people, but as long as you know the magic of tables, then it'll all work out. And if you don't, I'm sure this will make they'll make sense to you by the end of this tutorial. So I have a basic little I just exited out of it. Basic little demo right here. Just like this guy, uh, quick time player makes my computer lag like crazy, so it's gonna look really, really sh poopy. But it's a super basic red box moving around. Um, so I'm gonna make it so the player can shoot in uh, direct all four directions oh. around him. So I'm gonna do it. So you tap the button at you tap the button and it just spawns a bullet. But you guys can get crazy with this. It, you can do anything with these bullets after you know it. And I think. For me, at least, this was what really got me into the magic tables, and tables, I just love tables. You guys will hear me say that a lot in these advanced tutorials. So, I'm going to make a new file. Call it bullet.lua. As my computer goes, literally less than two frames an hour. Um, <laughs> not literally. Okay. In bullet.lua. Wait, I'm going to require that first. Require it after player. Um, so that... The bullet file has all the data from the player file. You want to make a table called bullet, and we're going to make a function that spawns the bullet. So you want to do function bullet dot spawn, and then for the, its arguments, you want to do x, comma y, comma direction, or just dir. Just do dir. That's easier. Um, and then we deal with this before, right? I think we, with buttons. I don't remember. That was a while ago. Uh, bullet. In this function, you want to be inserting this data into the bullet table inside of its own miniature sub table or whatever you want to call it. So we're going to do x equals x, y equals y, dir equals dir. So that what this means is that each individual bullet will have its own x, its own y, and its own direction. So next thing we want to do, obviously, is draw... Whoa. Must be working on... Oh, yeah, we're working on a game in my... Okay. Well, bullet dot draw. Let's give it. Let's give the bullet some width in here too. So I'm gonna say the width equals. Let's just do it. It's way bigger than it would be, just so you can see it a lot better. So width and height. We're gonna set the color to black, just or white actually, because black background. So you want to be able to see. I'm just making it so the bullet's really obvious. And when you first do the bullet, if it's your first time doing a bullet, you want to make it big and a really offset color from the rest of everything so you, it's really obvious so you know what's going on if you have white background it, it's just good for bug testing for it to be really obviously seen otherwise because well, there was one time when I did it or that's actually a few times and actually my friends have done this too and when you shoot it you can't see it so you think it doesn't spawn but it's really there it's just like blending into the background it's just a problem guys so we're gonna make it a rectangle we're not gonna actually you can use a picture it doesn't matter as long as it has, if you're using a picture, make sure you just change width and height to the same width and height dimensions of your image. Ah, v dot width, v dot height. Oh, I need to put this inside of for IV and I pairs. Bullet do. Hopefully, this is making sense. I'm not going too far over the tables because I'm pretty sure I worked with them before in the menu tutorial. Buttons and the more buttons. Um. So basically, what that does is just draws each individual bullet that you spawn. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is bullet dot update. This is the function where we make all the bullet do stuff. So if we just spawned a bullet, it would just sit there right now, with a width of ten, a height of ten, and all that stuff, all that jazz. So what we're gonna do is do if v dot dir equals equals right. So if the direction that we set it to is right, then v v dot x equals v dot x plus bullet underscore speed times dt. Bullet underscore speed is not Oh god, my sister's on her way back. We're gonna go. Bullet underscore speed. We need to make that right now. Equals, uh, let's just set it to 50. Sure, it's gonna be going pretty slow. If v dot dir equals equals left. I'm just gonna do left and right, but you guys can do the rest of them because I gotta, I gotta hurry. Bullet underscore speed times dt. Okay, so this will do. We need to put these in main.lua, but they will move it and they will draw it. So we're gonna do bullet dot draw and then bullet dot update. Somebody said to do a filtering tutorial. I'm going to teach you something right now. To filter something, let's say I had a variable called player.pick, right? Equals love.graphics.new image poop. Okay. T 
To filter this image, if you're doing pixel art and you're zooming it up on it, you'll notice it's blurry, so you gotta filter it. So what you do, player.pick, set filter, nearest, nearest. Okay, I did that so fast, and I spelled nearest wrong the wrong, on the same time, but that's what you do. That's what you do, okay? Hopefully you guys could get a short glimpse of that. Here we go. So we have all that done. Now we just need to make it so we spawn the bullets. So we're gonna do function bullet dot shoot. I'm just gonna do shoot, I guess. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this in love dot key pressed. If key equals right, oh not right right, then bullet dot spawn player dot x plus player dot width because we want to do it on the right side of the player, right guys? Right guys, because you guys can hear me. You guys can talk back. We can interact through the comments. Um, player dot width plus player dot uh, player dot x plus player dot width, and we want to do it halfway, like in the middle of the player, right? So we do player dot y plus player dot height divided by two. And if you wanted to get really exact with that, you could do uh, minus bullet height divided by two. So that make it so it's completely centered. But I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do right. I'm gotta hurry. Um, so we set the X, we set the Y. Yes, I know you're headed back, sister of mine. Okay, and then you, we set the dir, the dir. Um, okay, now we're almost done. You just do the same thing for the left. It's I, This is a really bad tutorial. <laughs> if you guys need me to remake this, I will be more than happy. I'm starting, I tried to show you, I was gonna show you guys my new game in a previous video, but the screen recorder did not want that. Okay, so we're gonna put this inside of Function love dot key pressed key and bullet dot shoot key. Okay. Um. So now let's just start it up. One thing I want to say is you can use this in any way you want. Um. I I do the same thing with arrows except for the arrows just have a little bit more of a dynamic. In both of you here, the arrows just have more of a elaborate um, arrow dot update kind of like bullet dot update, but you have to like set the ro rotation and. All that. Also, you guys can set it so there's like a limit to how fast you can shoot. I did that in uh, the really crappy Ludum Dara game that we made. Oh, I <laughs> forgot to delete that. <laughs> the file poop does not exist. Um, there you get the ski get gauge for trying to put two tutorials in one and annoying people. Um, so, like, you hold it down instead of just tapping it. That's pretty easy to do if you guys want to learn how to do that. You can just add me on Skype, actually. Cause that's not something I'd make an entire tutorial around, guys. Come on. But add me on Skype, Monkey Bacon. I did not do four IV and I pairs for something. Let's check this out. Bullet. Oh, it's for bullet update. You guys probably caught that too. Four IV, IV, IV and I pairs. Bullet. Do. And then we'd end it. End. And it, it, just, it just looks a little clumped up. Like, we could... We tab it all in, waste our time with that, but I'm not gonna right now. Here we go, here we go, here we go. You guys are about to witness, you guys probably already ran it, because mine had different errors than yours. Pew, pew, yay. Obviously we wouldn't keep that bullet speed. We'd probably change it. Oh, and I forgot to change. This tutorial's gone really downhill since the start. This, we're spawning the ones that shoot to the left on the right side of the player. We want to spawn them on the left side of the player so it looks like sh he's shooting them, I guess. I guess the white red box is shooting white boxes. This tutorial sucked. This has been Monkey Bacon. If you guys want me to remake this, I would be more than happy because I want to help you guys out. Add me on Skype. If there's just one little thing you didn't understand, I can help you out. Or if you need some help, or if you want to work with me, or if you want to try out my new game that I'm working on, or whatever. If you're lonely... Um, email us, sockmonkeydev at gmail.com, gauge at sockmonkey.com. And if you guys want any tutorials done, I'm starting to do all the requests that I've gotten. I'm going to do a jumping tutorial soon, probably today actually. And I'm going to be doing, uh, well I just did the bullet tutorial. So, if you guys have any more requests for tutorials, I will be sure to get to them, for sure. Leave a comment, just, you just guys, we got to interact, we got something going here. And we got to keep it rolling and expanding. Tell your friends if you ever wanted to make a game, go to youtube.com slash sockmonkeydevelopment. There's no T at the end of that. I am getting notified by Dropbox. I will talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Good luck on your programming expedulidoos.